Gospel Community Leaders, we are back into Esther. Um, this is week uh, nine of the series, uh, week nine of the Esther series. It's our 10th study guide. Uh, we had a week off where we just did some prayer and some things like that because of some snow. That's why it says study guide number 10, but this is actually week nine, uh, the ninth sermon of the Esther series. Um, this week, our hope in the impossible situations of life is in God's unlimited ability and unfailing commitment to our good and His glory. So when things seem impossible, we remind ourselves of the gospel, remind ourselves of the um, unlimited power, the um, historical showing up that God has uh, displayed for His people time and time and time again in the midst of impossible situations um, to um, rescue and to save and to bring about amazing things. We see this in Esther. We see this at the cross as God takes um, dead people, people with dead hearts, and through the finished work of Christ on the cross, He makes those hearts alive um, to God. To himself, He reconciles dead people to himself, bringing them alive through the finished work of Christ on the cross through his power and his strength. He accomplishes something that's impossible. Okay, so um, feel the weight of that this week as you um, minister the gospel to anyone, but specifically as you minister to your gospel community group. The weight of the fact that our sin um, uh, separated us from God in an impossible place. Reconciliation to God is an impossible thing apart from the finished work of Christ on the cross. And so there is the main display. We're going to go back to that time and time again. There is the main display of God uh, being at work in impossible situations um, to pull things off for His glory and for the good of His children. Okay, you're going to see something new this week along that same line of thought. There's going to be some green spots now, I'm just do, color coding these randomly. Those colors don't represent anything specifically, but there's going to be these green parts sometimes that I call a gospel thread. Okay, so attached to some of your questions at the very end will be a gospel thread. And what I would love for us to do is ourselves personally to get better, more effective, to more frequently take whatever we're talking about, okay, and tie that in to the gospel. To tie in you know, this specific question, the specific discussion to the gospel directly to um, not just the general um, redemptive historical narrative of the gospel that's, you know, lasted through all, but specifically tying it into the finished work of Christ on the cross, his death, his burial, and his resurrection. So there's going to be times in the future, this uh, hopefully will be a weekly thing that I'm just going to kind of um, help you a little bit, um, not that you need it, necessarily the help, but maybe the reminder. I know I need that and as a gospel community leader myself. Um, so kind of serve as a reminder for, hey, let's be sure as leaders we're tying this stuff, all, always going back to the cross um, with this stuff. And so um, that's for you, but it's also, uh, you can treat that as like a, I don't know, lecture is a terrible word, but you can be the person who is making that connection. But I think what will be even more helpful is if you find a way, uh, maybe not this week, but in the future, if you find a way to uh, help your group become um, skilled and capable at doing that so that you're giving people in your group swings and cuts at this, how does this tie in to the gospel so that we become um, skilled uh, handlers of the Word of God um, skilled handlers of life situations, skilled handlers of um, uh, trials and tribulations and successes and uh, and all everything that's that's happening in this life, um, being able to speak the truths of the gospel because they're life to us um, into those things to be able to take scripture, turn it to the cross, to be able to in the midst of circumstances and situations, look to the cross. Um, so that's great. You'll see the Bible passages there. Uh, one special announcement is that Easter is April 20th. We're hopeful to be back in our um, space at the Orpheum. Um, we're almost certain. I mean, there's very little chance that we won't be. Um, so the renovation should be completed. It's going to be an exciting, exciting day. So please encourage 
Um, and one of the questions is going to deal with this specifically, but please encourage as an announcement your group to be inviting um, people out for Easter Sunday, April 20th for our, our corporate gathering on that day. All right, you'll see the questions uh, spelled out here. There is an appendix um, for question two, and there is an appendix for question four, appendix A and appendix C that are attached there that are going to be super helpful in helping you um, go through those questions. I want to mention this, and I've included it below in this post here on the city. Um, if you want to just copy and paste it, or you can word it in your own way, but what I would love for you to do is when you finish watching this video, shoot an email or make a city post or text it to your group or whatever, um, you, and you can literally copy and paste what I've put below, um, just a notification of what question two and what question three are about so they can come prepared to the group. I think it's going to benefit your conversation um, incredibly if they have some foreknowledge of these questions that are coming because the personal question is going to deal with okay um, what in your life right now is impossible or who in your life right now is impossible and so they can bring that and it's going to be a time of prayer we're going to pray together for those situations we're going to speak the gospel into those things we're going to read some scriptures to encourage us in those situations but that's kind of this what currently is impossible in your life who currently is impossible in your life and then in question three and this is even more so I think the foreknowledge will benefit this is we're gonna spend some time again and this is gonna become something that happens not weekly but every now and again we're gonna come back to this kind of a time to to give testimony to who God is and that's it falls under that community aspect because we are learning to do this with one another to say hey you're in an impossible situation well let me tell you about a time that God took an impossible situation and turned it around for his glory and for the good of his kids and so um, we're able to do that we're able to point to, to times in scripture like Esther where God did that and we're able to point to places in our lives where God did that and, and, and in that constantly be reminding each other of the power of the gospel of the power of God of the power of Jesus to transform lives and to accomplish impossible things um, even though they're humanly um, impossible. And so the community question this week is simply share a time in your life where something or someone seemed impossible, but God and His grace and power changed the impossible into possible. And so you're going to um, have that question, uh, or I have that uh, something you can copy and paste to email or post to the city for your group so they can be prepped for those two questions so they can come prepared to dig into that conversation. Uh, the missional question is going to speak into, uh, is going to be an opportunity for us to pray for the lost, for us to pray for God to save people on Easter Sunday. And we're going to be doing this every week up till Easter now in our gospel community groups. We're going to be praying for God to save people, but it specifically uh, uh, springboards off of this week's sermon where God rescued his people and saved other people that were outside the Jewish race um, in mass. There was mass deliverance and mass conversion, and we're going to pray that God does something very similar um, in the tri-state area, saving people. And so uh, that's what that question is all about. There's a question for the young ones, and it just has to do with maybe who are you going to invite to Easter, just a way to get them thinking about that. And then uh, there's some announcements that you can see there as well. So if you have any questions, just holler at me. And thank you all so very, very much.